Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're going to be looking at the Boss Bar Timer plugin. Now, this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to customize the Boss Bar Timer. You can change its color, you can change the text, the animations, the amount of time it lasts for. It's very easy to do using the GUI, or you can just use the config file. So first of all, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the ones you get by default and a few I've made. And then I'm going to show you how to create your own and then we will look at the config file afterwards. So let's go ahead and do forward slash bbt and then help. This will show you all of the commands. There's not too many. There is the start, stop and reload command. So what we need to do to begin with is start our animation. So what we need to do is bbt start and then we hit tab and this will bring up all of the ones that we've created. So there are a few examples. Uh, let's go ahead and stick all of these on. And there is a couple that I've made. So let's go ahead and just stick all of these on. You can see the differences and what sort of things you can actually create. Um, so the final one is one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, um, they look very, very different. The one at the bottom is a very short one. It basically counts up a bit and then shows you some text and then counts some more. And then the second one shows you actually how much time is remaining. And then some of the others just have cool animations. Now, if you want to stop one, it's very straightforward. You do BBT stop and then obviously the name. Uh, so you can get rid of whichever one you want uh, if you don't want it to end soon enough. So that's how you do that. And then if you do full slash BBT reload, that reloads any changes you made to the config file. So that is the commands. Let's go ahead and look at the GUI, which is the best part. So if you do full slash BBT and hit enter, it will bring up this GUI. Now there's two things you can do. You can either create a brand new bar or you can edit one that already exists. So let's click edit and as you can see, it has a list of all of the ones that I've just showed you. It tells you the color, style and time of them. And as you can see, if you left click, you can edit it. If you shift left click, it will be deleted. So let's go ahead and go back and we are going to create our own now. So we need to enter the name in chat. We are going to call it, uh, I know, server miner two. And once you've done that, hit enter and you'll bring up another GUI. So in here, you can change everything about it. So the cool thing is, is up at the top of the screen, you can see example text with a white bar. That is your new bar. So it will update in real time. So if we go into the first option, the change color option and click loads of different colors, you can see it changing up there. So you can actually see what it's going to look like before you've created it, which is very cool. So let's go ahead and choose red. I think that looks pretty nice. Let's go back and go to the style. The style chooses whether you want it completely solid or made up into segments. Um, just an aesthetic change, but whatever you want really. So let's choose six for this example. And the next one is the display name. So this is the most important one. You can add different frames to make your text animation. You can change the time between each frame and obviously you can add and delete new frames. So first of all, let's go ahead and click shift and right click to change the time period between each frame. By default, it's 20 ticks, which is one second. So we are going to do it for 30 ticks, which is 1.5 seconds. Then if we go back in, what we can do is right click and that will delete the um, second frame. And if we left click, we can create our own. So we can use format codes and we can also add time, uh, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we do for slash and a and L type in server, and then left click again uh, to add a new one. We're going to add server minor, so and for and L minor. And click one more time. And let's go ahead and add a timer at the end of it by doing and B and O, which is italics. And then we're going to do the squiggly brackets, time squiggly bracket, hit enter. And if we look up here, we will have the time. So obviously, um, if we look at the... Um, updated one at the top of the screen, you will see the actual time pops up. So let's go ahead and add a few more of these, uh, just so it lasts a bit longer. Let's add one more, there we go. So once we've done that, we can move on to the advanced settings. In here, you can change the bar time. So by default, it's one minute, 30 seconds, and you can change it from hours to minutes to seconds. So we're going to do 25 seconds. The next one is the commands. So when it finishes, you can make it do various things. Um, so it will say first command, say second command. Uh, if we right click, that will delete a command and left click to add a new one. So what we're going to do is uh, time set and then 24,000, which I think is night time and hit enter. 
and it says tip, do not use a forward slash um, or it will not work. And then finally, the announcer mode, whether you want it to um, announce that or not, and whether you want it to show every X amount of time, but we do not want that. So we're going to go back, click save, the, uh, the button here, and then click confirm, and that will have saved your bar. So now that we've created our bar, we can actually look at it. So if we do forward slash BBT and then start, and then hit tab, we will be able to scroll through all of them and then find the one we created, server minor two, hit enter, and let's have a look. So it lasts for 25 seconds. As you can see, it's going through each of the different frames every 1.5 seconds. And you can see it is counting down the time up there when it's on that specific frame. And there we go. So as you saw, it says first command in chat and the time changed to 24,000, which is not night time, but it's, it's darker than it was. So here we are in the file manager of the SM Picnic control panel. If we go into plugins and then go into the boss bar timer folder, we will see there is a single config file.yml. Now, if we open that up, we can see all of the bars that we've created, all the information about them, and then up at the top, there's a couple of other things. So there is everything to do with the time, so how you write it in game, so day, hour, minute, and then obviously the plural version. Up at the top, you can choose whether you use a placeholder API with this plugin and the message you get when you don't have permission. So if we scroll down, all you will see is all of the bars that we've created and all of the different frames. So if we go to the one we created, if we can find it, so there's server minor and server minor two is right at the bottom. As you can see, we have the time period of 30 ticks and the color is red, it's segmented six and these are the commands that it performs. So if you want to get rid of a frame, all you need to do is just delete it like so and then click save up here. Obviously then you can use the forward slash BBT reload file from in-game and it will reload your changes. So that is how you use and edit the config file. It's very straightforward. You can do everything in game that you can do out of game in the config. It's just whichever one you prefer. So if you want to get yourself a server and this really handy control panel, you can go to serverminer.com uh, for the best and the cheapest hosting around. If you want to check me out, my channel will be in the description as well. And if you want to download the plugin for free, that link will be at the top of the description as well. So that is it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.